much has happened in the last decade that really wasn't even conceived of when they when they created the last generation of wireless networks. So things like the Internet of Things, you know, IoT is really changing how everything is. When we have machines talking to each other, you know, you just need different types of capabilities in your technology. And so that's really what 5G is going to address. The promise of 5G is that it will be 100 times faster than 4G. It's not just about faster speeds, it's actually about lower latency. And that's so important when machines have to talk to machines or cars need to talk to cars. For some of these future usages, that is like a, a really key uh, capability that we're going to get with 5G. So faster, lower latency, what about cost? Cost. Well, I mean, every new technology has a cost curve that it needs to go through. Um, and yes, things will, uh, you know, the first 5G phone will probably not be the, the least expensive phone on the market. But, uh, but like everything, the cost curves will come down. How is life going to change as a result of 5G? You know, we have some ideas of how it's going to change, but the reality is we're just scratching the surface of the types of things that, that we think are going to happen. You know, smart cities, uh, uh, industrial automation, uh, media and entertainment, virtual reality, all these kinds of things. Um, you know, we, we believe that those are going to be major areas because that's what we see today. But you know what? Five or ten years from now, there could be something that comes out of left field that is a game changer.